All right, so yeah, the problem with interracial, the problem with interracial relationships, love, and all that other stuff, okay? Now, I'm a huge, big advocate for interracial, okay? The fact that the word interracial even exists is just sad. It's crazy, you know? But that's the social construct that was created all over through these years. It even goes as far back as the Bible days. So, yeah. Now, as for as a person who's, you know, very much a supporter of interracial, interracial love or whatever, interracial dating, and considering I even desire interracial, considering my preference in white women, especially blondes, don't get me started, because I've seen a cute, yeah, I've seen a cute blondes day right on the orange line, but she was heading to the, heading to the plane, so... Heading to the airport, so there's that. The Midway Airport. Anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, the, why in the world would I make a video about a problem with interracial considering I'm a huge inter, um, interracial advocate, you know, interracial love advocate? That's because I understand. I already understand. I already know, okay? I'm not stupid. I am stupid, but I'm not, okay? Hey, first, let's start off with the finances. Unfortunately, let's use myself for an example. Let's use myself. Let's black it over there. Okay. Let's use myself for an example. Look at my obvious face and my skin color. I happen to have melanated skin, all right? AKA black or brown or whatever, okay? And unfortunately, through to through to the history of my people, my people, you know, being slaves and being poor, being in poverty and all that stuff, being in hood, being in gangs and stuff like that. Unfortunately, one batch ruins ruins the whole apple. One apple ruins the whole bunch of apples, something like that. You know how the saying goes. Unfortunately, there's a negative kind of huge negative connotation with black people, okay? Why is this not, why is this so, I'm trying to figure out why, hey, what's up? This dog could have, he can easily jump over this, jump over this thing. Anyway, so, um, anyway, so, um, dogs. Yeah, um, unfortunately, you know, black people has a horrible reputation. Horrible reputation. Some of it's true. Some of it, some of it is false, okay? The ones that's mostly true is unfortunately is, well, is the whole gang stuff, okay? The whole, um, yeah, all the gang stuff and all the hood and all the swag and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's happened to be very true, okay? And then, you know, let's... That happened to be true. The stereotypes. Some stereotypes are true, okay? And then, you know, hood and ghetto and stuff like that. And especially being in, in a, you know, high metro city like Chicago. There's definitely a whole bunch of... Hood, you know, N words and stuff like that. Hood black people and stuff like that. Basically, this whole entire reputation us black people have, it's unfortunately that's the first thing people are going to think, okay? Even black people think other black people act like that, okay? Like gang, gang like swagger, alcohol, and, and drinking and all that stuff, gang stuff, sagging. Dancing, having a big dick, you know, the blick back, um, you know, things, whatever, twerking and shit, you know, all that stuff, okay? That's a huge stereotype. That's a huge stereotype, and that's promoted in, that's promoted, okay? And also, um, what's another one? Um, the rap music, okay? Rap music and RB. We happen, at black people happen to really like that, okay? That's our reputation. Most of it is true. Most of it is true, unfortunately. So, but looking at me, I'm the complete opposite of that. And knowing 
how, knowing how I prefer white women, okay? That's the first thing. That is the first thing her father shoot. Could have got ran over. <laughs> That's the first thing her father is going to. I should have stayed on that side. Now I gotta ride in the street in the um, grass now. That's the first thing her father is going to think. The first thing your gonna father gonna think. Do you smoke weed? Do you smoke um do you drink alcohol? Um, do you listen to rap music? Is your parents together? How is you bring up? Are you into a gang and stuff like that? Oh, what's who's your favorite rapper and all that stuff? I am the complete opposite. And then I don't wanna be talked to as if like I got swagger or whatever, like hey what's up my man? You know like that line that dude said in the Get Out movie, which was a good movie, by the way. You know. But yeah, you know, obviously her father is gonna, or any other father that's opposite, you know, well, I can't say opposite, that's so very racist. Anyone who's not black, that doesn't have black skin color, they're gonna think that I'm that kind of person, okay? And then on top of that, they probably don't think I'm a man whore as well. An F boy. I don't want you dating him. What's your goal with my daughter? Even though that's a very... Unfortunately, um... Antique form of, um... You know, dating or whatever. But, yeah. A white woman going for me... Honestly, and considering also... That my parents, specifically biological parents, aren't together. And then I have people in my biological family who is literally, I believe, in a gang. They just recently got out of jail recently. So, yeah. Anyway, so. Just by me being related to people who's into gangs. It's already enough for me to be seen as not a good husband. Unfortunately, people of my bloodline does affect everyone one way or another considering I'm the complete opposite of that of all the stereotypes of black people I don't like rap music twerking is disgusting sagging is terrible I don't smoke I don't drink what's another thing I don't go sleeping around none of that stuff I'm the complete opposite of that and my preference in white women or just non-black women in this case it's just a thing that I got I'm just not really that physically attracted to black women I've already said that before in videos before but But going back to the, you know my whole entire point or whatever, she is marrying into that's one thing Dr. Umar Johnson probably may be a little right on, okay? She is marrying, she's not only marrying me, she's marrying the entire community. So now she's gonna cut off her genes, and now her children, her our children is gonna have the black gene, and now that child is probably not going to really fit in nowhere. Oh, you're too black. Oh, you're too white. Now the child has to make a decision now. That's one thing I am very concerned. One thing I am very concerned about, you know, going for someone who's not the same, quote unquote, quote unquote, who's, quote unquote not the same race as me, okay? Which is stupid, but that's the world we live in. And then also finances, you know, she's marrying into my family. What she will be marrying into is to a man, a black man, whose parents are divorced. Because one of the sides are gang affiliated. And um, who's gang affiliated 
who fits the stereotype for the most part, having baby mamas and all that stuff, it's a mess. I'm sorry. Even if, even if the dude, you know, thought I was a decent guy, even if the dude thought I was a decent guy, it's, it's 10 minutes, it's still, it's, it still really wouldn't work because just by me being a product of black people, just by me being a product of being, you know, a black person or whatever, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. No matter what, she will be compromising her lineage. Her, um, I hate saying privilege. I hate saying privilege. She will be compromising all the success that she has in her community. In, in her community, you know? That goes, you know, and it's just kind of sad, you know, that I have this physical, I have this physical and probably emotional attraction, you know, to, you know, white women, Asian, specifically those two, okay? More white though, but it's kind of sad that I have this desire to be in an interracial relationship, not because it's interracial, because I just simply want to go for the most beautiful women ever and the most nicest women ever. Statistically speaking, specifically on you know the nicest women. I'm not. I'm not saying. Point being. Point being. All I'm saying is, that's my. Pro- that's something I'm gonna have to go through. Hold up. Alright, so yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to go through. And then don't get me started. Do not do not get me started. Um What was I about to say? That's true, I forgot. Yeah, okay, money. Money. Considering I'm a literally a poor guy who's pretty much, you know, have a strong preference, you know, for you know white women and everything and Asian women. Strong preference, you know, for white or Asian women. I just already know. I already know most of these white and Asian and, you know, non-black women are not going to be that attracted to me. Either physically or socially. Socially? Socially? Is that the right word? Or statusly? You know, you know what I'm trying to say. I already know that. I already know that, okay? Because chances are, this white or Asian lady, especially if she's Asian, they're gonna be so up in their head that I need to make my parents proud. I don't think marrying a broke black boy is gonna make them proud. It's gonna make my parents proud. And if she goes against her parents, now she's disowned. Even if her parents don't disown her or even support, you know, dating or marrying or giving children, um, you know, having children with a guy like me, it's still, there are consequences. There are always consequences. The bill comes due. That's something I'm going to have to deal with. It's so unfortunate how, you know, everything that happened in this world it really do it really sucks but that's what happened and it is what it is and then don't get me started with my own standards my own standards you know my interracial preference and then my christian like preferences as well it'll just suck It'll just suck. So now, and then knowing how I don't knowing how I don't know how attractive I am physically, I really don't know. I really don't know. And then one thing I gotta say, um, there were two. There were two. You know, incel, incel. You know, white men on the internet. They were like begging, and I feel so bad for them. They over here begging white, you know, white women to be with them. Like, 
I'm sorry, these these white dudes, they're around my age, okay? These white dudes, they're sitting over here begging, being very simpish, being very simpish, and even a little gay. Um, towards these white women because they are so screwed up in the head. I'm only talking to one of them, okay? But they're just so screwed up in the head from all the pornography they watched, all the whole BBC pornography junk, when that's not fully true. So now they refuse to believe that. I tried to explain to them that, and they want to know how big I am. And I'm like, that's personal information. Don't ask that. We just, we just started talking to each other online. That's personal information. And then he just can't see. Oh, he lives on the south side. Okay. That's good. It's this dude. Um, well, maybe that's not good. Um, this dude, I'm, I'm, uh, this dude I, I look by, clearly, I think he might be homeless. Um, he might be homeless. And he's selling his body. Cause the, um, like There were two occasions when I seen him wearing a skirt on the train. Um, he looks like he's depressed. I really do feel bad for him. And, you know, the dude's face looks familiar. I recognize the hairdo and everything. He's probably selling his body to survive, which is so sad. I feel so bad for him. Like, because one time on a train, I wanted to ask him, are you okay? Like, are you okay, okay? I hope he's all right, because I generally feel bad for the dude. I don't know if that's something he really, really wants to do, even for actual gay people. I'm pretty sure they don't want to sell their body. They want somebody to be with, to be in love with. So yeah, going past that, you know, I just the dude, he, you know, he looked by, and yeah. Anyways, that aside. In conclusion, interracial dating is it's very interracial marriage, especially, is very, very um. I don't want to say tricky. Risky. It's risky for both sides. It's not even about the peer pressures. Like, oh, you dating a white girl. What's wrong with you? Or, you dating an Ian. Oh, why you dating that Icker, you know? One of that stuff, you know? He's not even necessarily about that. Because she or me could date each other all we want. Have children all we want. No matter what. When it comes to the children, that's where that's where it gets tricky. That's where the problem comes, okay? And then money, okay? Because we know most black people are not financially stable. I'm literally one of them. And I'm over here. Man, people about to watch this video. People of my modern family. No. People of my uh, post child family. Or even any of my family about to watch this video. But consider I'm in, on this dating app. And knowing I have a strong preference, you know, for white or Asian. I'm not getting no matches. I already know that. I already been through that. The only reason why I decided to open that dating profile is solely because, you know, I'm 24. And I'm just sitting here just... Not dating. I don't want to be. I don't want to be old, wishing that I at least tried. Okay. That's the whole point why I did that. And if I was to go on a speed speed dating show, which is so weird, it would be so odd. Man, this thing sucks. You know, it sucks. You know, interracials. We can't live in peace. You know, we cannot live in peace. But. You know, race is such a social construct. It's crazy that it's just sad, you know, how, you know, just how messed up humans are. And I can try to be optimistic. I can try to be optimistic and um, pizzas and cream all I want. In the end of the day, I already know what the deal is. I already know what the deal is. Nah, I don't got no money. 
I don't know what the deal is. At the end of the day, it's all about money. And yeah. And then, can, don't get me started with my own standards as well. I think that's it. And you can finally find a conclusion. The main problem with interracial is money in, in society. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Money in society. And I, I don't know. And I don't want to deal with no divorce court and all that stuff. So yeah, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. You know, it sucks. It just really sucks that I got, you know, like, like, why do I got to have a physical preference for this? And knowing I can't even seek it. Knowing I can't comfortably seek it. And even if I try to be optimistic of what it is I want, which is, you know, a white or Asian woman, she probably gonna have a high body count, you know, and all that stuff, you know. And she probably gonna be hoodish or whatever. It's not, a, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily, I'm not saying that black women are like that and all that stuff. And the white women's all nicey and everything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, statistically speaking, unfortunately, most black women are like this. And most white women are like this. You know, I know there are white women that act like this, which she can go fuck herself. I'm serious. I don't want her. I don't want her. I don't want, I don't want a, a hood, um, a hood white woman. I don't want no hood woman at all, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. Even if that is the women in my bracket, I still don't want it. I, I'm just better off staying single. I they open because I'm hungry. Well, I need to optimize my money. I gotta keep as much money as I can. That's pretty much it. Finally, 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 conclusion. That's a problem with interracial. It's unfortunate. Well, that's the society we live in. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.